top 25. Now we we in the part of the season where every week we should be getting some some really uh, spicy ball games. Which this week, obviously, the the marquee one is Ohio State at Penn State. Ohio State Penn State. It's will be Urban Meyer's second game back, right. and and the last time they played at Penn State it, yeah. it, two years ago, it, it wasn't a, a good outcome for the Buckeyes. So, right. so I'm sure they're going to be really focused on this game. Right. And for me, more than anything, Elton, Penn State will get a chance to prove to me that they're not a pretender <laughs> because, well, because they, you know, they high, they are ranked higher than I thought they should be, mm -hmm. but, but we'll see, especially well, in this game. Well, the other thing that, and I think, you know, this could be, this could be a, a statement game for Ohio State in a lot of ways. You know, you gotta you, you, you gotta sell the program, so to speak, and uh, sell the sizzle. And Urban Meyer's been kind of sitting on the sideline for three weeks. His focus, I would suspect, was almost exclusively on this game. So, uh, you know, I would you know I'd be shocked if this game is is much more than than uh, you know two quarters, two and a half quarters. You know, I would think Ohio State. And with Urban having all that time to focus strictly on this game and what it means, you know, you're going to see style points from the Buckeyes. You're going to, really, I, 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 I'd be shocked. You know, if Penn State wins this game, okay, with Urban and I having that much time, you know, I don't see any way that a Big Ten team, if obviously you're saying Ohio State's the best of the Big Team, I don't see any way a Big Ten team somehow ends up at the end of the season in the in the national playoff conversation uh one you know i'd be like i say i'd be shocked if ohio state loses this game um but you know it could i mean stranger things have happened and oh, like yes. you say penn state did beat them there uh two years ago but it just seems like it, it's too much of a setup for for ohio state not to win it now quickly there's some other big games oh this week. couple couple pretty nice ones number seven stanford at number eight notre dame Notre Dame's changed quarterbacks. Uh, in his first game, he had three touchdowns rushing. To, uh, Ian Book, a junior, only six feet tall, uh, but uh, uh, obviously he knows the offense well. Mm -hmm. uh, so Notre Dame's still undefeated. Stanford is. So I would expect that game to, to hold a little cachet, and whoever wins that game probably you know rises up a notch. And another game to watch is number twelve West Virginia and number at number 25, Texas Tech. West Virginia is a team that I don't think people are watching that need to, you know, somewhat like LSU, you know, a team you need to keep your eye on. You know, they're in the Big 12, and obviously Texas, Oklahoma, Oklahoma, and all these other teams in the Big 12 get a little bit more notoriety. West Virginia's playing pretty good football, and, and they're undefeated. So keep an eye on them. If they can go into Texas Tech and pull that off, remain undefeated with their schedule the rest of the way, you know, they could be some, a, a team to be heard from.